What up, guys? And it's time to t give my notes that I had on Steven Universe's Marvel M Madness. Now, so the episode starts with the gems having a robot come to the ground, and they defeat the robot. And and after they defeat the robot, they um, go back back in and repeat, repeat. Um, the next part that happens, so they just ha another one comes, it seems like they've had to battle five in a week, and another one comes, and they ride it. So they ride it to Kindergarten, and they ride it from the Island Adventure Place, and then, um, so once they do that, um, they go downstairs into ki into the deeper part of Kindergarten. Now, Kindergarten intrigues me and stuff how dark it is, especially in Cartoon Network's goofy atmosphere. Now, so, what we have from there is, we actually, so they go down, um, Steven, uh, the only real flaw in the episode is Steven revealing himself to, um, to Pure Dot when, cause Pure Dot's here, um, cause she uses one of those robots and gets, um, one of those, she finds out that Steven's here in some witty dialogue, um, and then, so, we have a confrontation between, um, see, we've had two confrontations, but this one, and I think, is my favorite out of the two. Um, the gems battle against Pure Dot's hands, Master Hand style. And so Pure Dot, um, finally realizes that they were the heir, and realizes that they did all that stuff. She told them other members of her group, we find that out. However, in this episode, another thing I'd like to talk about, unlike a dumb reviewer named Velsky Bum for Gravity Falls, um, I would like to tell you that I have a different, I have another theory to add to this. The Warp Tour, after this episode, is without a question, gone. And here's my explanation. So Pure Dot, um, couldn't send it through the warp thing. If she wanted direct destruction on Earth, or even a check, she might have known where the gem's warp is due to the warp, um, system. So why would she f send it flying to Earth? Flying hits the Earth. And, overall, the episode was really great, and it helped as a great addition to the space arc. Well, it did have a flaw, um, in storytelling, but... It was an amazing episode. It was deeper than most episodes. And so that's me signing out on Steven Universe's Marvel Madness.